Good day everyone! My name is Teacher Claire. In this lesson, we are going to discuss Squircle software, a tool for qualitative analysis. For the learning objective of today's lesson is to understand, download, and perform step-by-step -step qualitative data analysis using Quircos software. First, we will show you how to download the software from the website by typing www.quircos.com. We can download a full free trial by clicking on the Get Quircos button and then download for Windows. However, this trial version is free for 28 days. And after that, you need to buy a license to continue working on your project. Since I use offline mode, I'm already a couple of days into my 18th day's trial. This is the first project screen that you will see in QueerCos. This time, let us create a new project. We will name our new project a study on pregnant women with a new project and type the file name study on pregnant. For easy location, we save it in our desktop. Once done, we can start this one. We can stretch it to the left and to the right. So to start with, let us see our study, The Live Experiences of Pregnant Women During COVID-19. For that, our SOP1 is Live Experiences. So to do that in Queer Cause, we click the plus button. Then we have a title, Live Experiences. Then we select the color that we prefer. Then we write the description for SOP2. We highlight and copy the challenges experience. We code it in our software. We have challenges experience. We code that in our software. We place description. Then we choose the color. And after choosing the color, we can now then click OK and make another group since this is for SOP. Two, we name it as SOP2, then create new group, and then we can now have SOP1 and 2, and then close it, then we tick SOP2, then save. And the first one, we failed to tick it, so we can edit that and save. So we are done with the coding for SOP1 and 2, we will now proceed to our SOP3. This time we will give highlight on try to meet to be added in our software. So we click plus button, we place the title, try to meet the pandemic. Then you may place the description. And after that, choose your preferred color. And this time, since it is SOP3, we create new group and name it as SOP3. And then we tick it as SOP3. Then we click save. So finally, we are done with the uh, different themes for our SOPs. Next, let us click and we will now add. We want to import sources. You click import source and then we will find for that file found at the desktop. Then you can actually import different types of file whether MS Word or PDF. You just click open then it will the five sources are now imported. So these are the data extracted from our interview. We click Gina to add property. We click plus button and then first we enter age. 
This time, let's have uh, 22 as the age of Gina. Next property, we can also add tribe. Uh, let's say Gina is Tagalog. Then we just import that. Then add another property. Let's have another property that is um, um, status. So let's say Gina is married. So we click OK. And then we can still add another one. If you want to, uh, perhaps you can have health status. There are no sicknesses. Then journal, of course, is not a person. We will just place uh, zero value on that. Let's click on Zen. So Zen is another respondent. So we we add the value as the new value. We can click OK. So same mechanics is done. We just enter the new value for that. And health status, let's say, with illness. Okay, so once we're done, let's now see, you can see there. If you want to see all sources, we just click this note button this time we will now do the coding so under joy we will highlight sense of loneliness this is part under deep experiences and then the lack of support we can also click that highlight it and drag it move to balloon and you see you will notice now as we add the balloon increases or expands okay so intense stress so we drag it under the experience however you can also add that as uh, fear of infection another live experiences and then practical obsessions Okay, and the need to change in nutrition. So these are part of the experiences of joy. And then next is we can also use that as for her to thrive to meet the pandemic. So we can also have another one fear of infection as part of challenges you know, experienced with joy. And so you can see now we have you can cut across the her responses across SOPs. Okay, so adherence to quarantine protocols will still be challenges experience. More time to play and we will place it under thrive to meet the pandemic. We also have more time to clean drag it to live experiences then we also have other words such as disruptions in receiving healthcare will be facing in challenges experience and other words that we can identify time we will save other different sentences or descriptions and we drag it to specific SOP where it can be identified this time let's check Gina the same mechanics that we're gonna do we select specific description we identify those important descriptions and drag them uh, accordingly to its respective bubbles our code. We will see the different subcomponents. We right click to rename the bubble and type behavioral responses. We tick SOP1 where it belongs. Then click save. We don't need it. We right click to delete it. If we click Live Experiences, we will see all the different codings under it.
For now, there is no coding under behavioral responses. If you want to compare the different responses, we will click Query found at the top of the screen. So these are the responses. This time, let us generate our report by clicking export button. This will give us a different summary of our coded responses. Let's try saving it in an export file. Here's the content of the file. To generate the word cloud, you must ensure to click first the home button before we click query. So this is what we're gonna do. Under this, we can adjust the word size, change the shape of the cloud, and do your preferences. You can even delete the specific words like this, pregnant. So that's all for this tutorial. I hope you learned something from Purpose as a quality data analysis tool. See you in my next video. Once again, this is Teacher Claire.